Hey, it's Brenner from AceTennisOnline.com, where I help you level up your game. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a simple yet really effective return strategy that you can copy from Novak Djokovic. Make sure to stick around till the end because after giving you three great tips on why this is effective, I'm going to show you a bonus that you need to know to win more points on the return. Now, let's get into what the return strategy actually is. It's returning deep down the middle. Now, Djokovic just executed that perfectly, but let's break down why it's a good idea. Now, reason number one, by returning deep down the middle, you actually give yourself a very big and safe target. So by giving yourself a bigger, safer target, you're going to reduce your own mistakes. So reducing your mistakes gives you the potential to win more points. If you can't start a point, you can't win the point. So make sure you get more points started by picking a big, safe target. Now, especially if you're playing somebody who's a big server and you're struggling to find a rhythm on it, pick a bigger, safer target just to get more points started and get that rhythm going. Tip number two taking the angles away. Now, by returning deep down the middle, you're actually going to reduce the angles that your opponent can hit. So if you return that ball down the middle, your opponent is going to be able to generate less angles than if they're somewhere on the outside of the court. So giving them less angles means they're going to have a much harder time making you run off the court on the next shot. So by hitting that uh, ball down the middle, you're actually going to be running less on the next shot. And tip number three, or reason number three why this is so effective is because, especially if that ball, if that return is nice and deep, what it does is it pushes your opponent back. Now, if your opponent is hitting that return as they're falling back or as they're moving back, they have a, they'll have a much harder time to be offensive with it. So it's a much harder shot to try and be offensive on and get you in trouble with. So, and plus if they're falling back, they're more likely to hit a weaker shot. They're more likely to hit a shorter shot. For, so you're going to be likely to attack on that next one. Now, let me give you a bonus that, that's going to help you win more return points. Now, the question that I always get is, how do I know which side should I attack? My first answer to that is, attack the weaker side. So if you're playing somebody who has a significantly weaker side, so let's say, typical example is somebody has a weaker backhand, and it's significantly weaker, then attack the weaker side. Now, if they're both pretty equal, attack the side with the longer take back. Now, if you take Djokovic, for example, on his backhand, his backhand take back is so simple and compact that it's hard to rush him. And Adele, on the other hand, has a little bit of a, of a bigger take back on his forehand, and so do some other players. So if you return that ball fast, deep at their side with a longer windup, ha- you're going to have an easier time rushing them. If they rush their shot, they're more likely to miss. They're more likely to hit something weaker in return. They're more likely to miss hit the ball. So attack the side with a longer windup. Now, if you follow those tips, I have no doubt you're going to level up your game and win more points on the return. Now, let me know down in the comment section below what kind of servers you struggle with against, and I'll help you in a future video. Now, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to level up your game even further. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.